Today we are going to be comparing the $200 Yeti ice bucket to your regular bag of ice. Yes, you heard that right. This thing is $200. Bucket's $150, scoop is $50. Bag of ice set up here, $2. $200, $2. It's 100 times the price. First off, let's talk the ice bucket. As with every Yeti product, this thing is 900 pounds. I mean, to move this thing around your house, you're gonna need a pallet jack. Oh, honey, we're moving the party to the patio? Sounds good, I'll bring the ice bucket. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. The real ice bucket challenge is getting it from point A to point B. They didn't lie, this thing is well built and they got a sturdy handle, steel walls, all that. But tell me this, what the f are people doing with their ice bucket that they need it to be this heavy duty? And you think for this much money, it would at least be the patented Yeti bear proof, but apparently it's not. So good luck. Next time you're hiking deep in the woods with your ice bucket, pallet jack, and you encounter a bear, guess you'll be having warm drinks the rest of the night. Now the other part of this is the ice scoop. $50 for a big ass spoon with holes in it. You can't even eat soup with it. But let's not knock it till we try it. Let's test out the scoop, see what all the hoopla is about. Wow, four ice cubes. At this rate, I'll have all the mixed drinks ready for the party by the time everyone's ready to leave. It is so hard for me to explain to you guys just how absurd this thing is. So heavy, the handle doesn't make any sense. $50, why does this exist? Just in case you're scooping ice and someone attacks you, you got brass knuckles, I guess. I'm sure that it can hold ice for days as most Yeti products do. But it's not about what this bucket can do. It's about the many other options you have for a hundredth of the price could do too. Which brings me to our trusty old bag of ice. I mean, look at this bag. Look how light it is. Seriously, it weighs next to nothing. I put it on a scale, didn't even register. And it's mobile. I can crumple it up, put it in my pocket. And when you're done using it for ice, you got yourself a sandwich bag for lunch on Monday. As we all know, ice melts and yes it's going to melt in this bag but tell me this why can't we just use a cooler or a freezer like we've been doing forever when was the last time you went anywhere and there wasn't a freezer or a cooler within arm's reach now, honestly i'm starting to wonder why we even need ice buckets these days other than hotels like why do we have ice buckets but miles this bag of ice doesn't come with a scoop yeah it does i call it the five finger scoop and it's right here attached to my arm i mean look at how many cubes just my hand can hold one two three too many to count you're gonna have drinks in no time. And if you don't wanna put your hand in the thing, just grab the cup you're using for your drink and scoop with that. It's almost like Yeti is just sitting around at this point going, what can we get away with? What household item can we put an absurd price on and still sell it? Well, turns out we found their limit. The $200 Yeti ice bucket setup. $200 for this, $2 for a bag of ice. Yes, the ice bucket can hold ice and the scoop can scoop but so can a bag of ice and my hand. I don't even want to imagine how much the Yeti napkin's gonna cost. 15 bucks for one napkin. Then they'll make you buy the napkin holder and then the double wall steel garbage can to throw the napkins away. Then the 9,000 pound dumpster to throw the garbage can in. And then next thing you know, they have their own garbage truck line that costs $3 million. I do think Yeti got it wrong though. I think this thing might actually be bear proof. You encounter a bear with this thing, pretty good weapon to fend them off. I mean, this thing is like <clears throat> swinging an anvil. KO first round. All in all, you got $200 burning a hole in your pocket. Go ahead, get yourself a Yeti ice bucket, or you could buy a hundred bags of ice. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.